All right, hookup is very, very easy. Red to positive, black to negative. This car has a little cover over the positive, so we'll take that off. We'll clamp on the negative over here. Clamp on the positive over here. And the tool lights up. Now it's very easy to operate. You have an escape, an enter, and an up and down button. Very easy like that. Menu, it says check, review, print, setup, and about. So let's go into check. We'll hit enter. The battery is in the vehicle. And we'll do the battery test. It says check surface charge, turn lights on. Take headlights on about 10 seconds, turn lights off. So let me do that and then I'll come back and we'll choose the rest. Now this is a regular flooded battery, so we'll press enter. And we're gonna enter in, you, can ha you have all different parameters here that you can set. We're just gonna enter in the CCA or cold cranking amps. So we'll go there and now we're gonna run this up to 650. The way you find that is to look at your battery itself if I pan down here and zoom in, you can see that there is a label on the battery and that shows 650 cold cranking amps. So that's what we're going to enter in. Now that we have that entered, we'll hit enter. Okay, it says charge is 100%. It puts out 658 cold cranking amps. And it says good battery at the bottom. It gives you some other information there. It says healthy, 41%, 12.25 uh, volts. That would probably be somewhat in the normal range for a vehicle that's been sitting for a while. Um, typically the battery voltage is going to be about 12 in that. Um, could be up upwards of 13. Uh, in this case, this battery is a number of years old, and I know that soon enough I'm going to need a replacement. So now we're going to go ahead and do the cranking test. So we'll go there, and it says start engine. It says time was 36.02 milliseconds, cranking normal, and it reads the voltage while cranking, which in this case was 10.25. So let's go ahead and go back again, and we'll go to the charging test. And it actually graphs it for you and shows you where you're at. 14.04 volts, 14 and change is perfectly fine. It says increase RPM to 2500 RPM and keep it for 5 seconds, press enter to continue. Okay, so the charging is normal. It says it's 13.86 volts loaded. Unloaded is 13.97, and the ripple is 121 millivolts. Very good.